the development of fishing and the creation of more and more new polymer materials has become a scourge for the inhabitants of the world ocean. Nine million tons of used or lost plastic products are thrown away every year, worldwide. Plastic is found everywhere, from the Arctic to the Antarctic. Floating bottles, wrappers, bags and abundant fishing nets litter the oceans, forming whole islands. Islands of marine debris. The negative impact of plastic waste is multifaceted and poorly understood. But it is most noticeable when animals are caught in abundant fishing gear. Every year between 60 and 140,000 marine mammals, pinnipeds and whales, die. The number of fish, birds and turtles killed or suffering from ingesting marine debris cannot even be counted. Increased injury and death rates are critical factors for some endangered species. The growing level of pollution from plastic waste is recognized as one of the most alarming environmental problems on the planet. This problem has not spared the Caspian Sea either. The largest closed lake sea on the planet collecting water from 130 large and small rivers. A unique, unstable and unpredictable ecosystem, the sea level drops sharply, then suddenly rises and falls again. Fluctuations in sea level can differ by less than 10 to even over 100 meters in short time by geological standards. The Caspian Sea is being polluted. After all, it is a reservoir of wastewater from a huge catchment basin nine times larger than its water area. The sea collects everything – agricultural, industrial and household waste. Anthropogenic pollution has been particularly active during the last century. The living inhabitants of Caspian Sea cannot adapt. Everything happens very quickly. And it is especially evident for the seal standing at the top of the trophic pyramid of the Caspian inhabitants. Caspian seals have weakened immunity. They get sick, die prematurely and females lose the ability to give birth. The Caspian seals are facing many troubles and they are disappearing because of it. We have chosen the Tulani Islands for this film as a symbol and example for the future conservation and restoration of seal habitats in the Caspian Sea. Here the Caspian seal found itself isolated from its congeners, other species of pinnipeds, and evolved its own completely unique features becoming the smallest representative among all seals existing on Earth. The Caspian seal is found only in the Caspian Sea. In science, this species is called endemic. And it was numerous. There was a time when hundreds of thousands of seals lived in the Tulani Islands in the Caspian Sea. This was their favorite rookery. That is why these islands are called seal islands in Russian. But here they also found their death, for the fat and skins. Abundant ships and boats, sealing boats and their broken remains on the shore serve as a reminder of the seal hunting here, that lasted more than two centuries. But now, the former inhabitants are no longer here. There are no thriving rookeries, no rumbling, no struggle for the best place on holeout. Only the corpses of dead seals are stranded on the deserted shores. Fishing nets riddle the Caspian Sea and are one of the main causes of these strandings. Seals die in nets set up 
to catch sturgeon fish. The exact number of dead animals is unknown, but we are talking about thousands and thousands, and this is very disturbing. There are fewer and fewer seals. Dead animals are found here and there on the coast. For most people, these car cases are the only evidence of the existence of a sea animal in the Caspian Sea. And some people seeing this rare animal beat it with sticks and throw stones. How can we protect the Caspian seal? Those who have felt the attraction of a defenseless gaze are trying to do at least something to help them in their struggle for survival in our artificially created environment. The cleanup of the coast of Tupkaragan Peninsula, carried out in autumn of 2019, collected a shocking amount of garbage and abundant fishing nets. The overwhelming majority of discovered fishing nets had a very large mesh sizes, more than 10 centimeters. This proves that they are aimed at catching sturgeon fish, and these same nets bring seals to their deaths. The remains of entangled seals were found in one in ten of the abundant nets. That is why the fate of the Caspian seal is inextricably linked with the fate of the Caspian sturgeon fish. Let's try to help the Caspian seal survive. It's the least we can do. We must reduce the consequences of direct human impact and the threat to the life of the seals that migrate throughout the sea. The Caspian Sea is currently lowering. Vast shallow waters are formed, which can only be overcome with specialized equipment. The Tulini Islands are an archipelago, the eastern islands of which have been gradually merging with the mainland in recent decades. The total length of the routes for exploring the Caspian Sea around the islands was about 1,700 kilometers. A survey of the largest islands of the archipelago, Podgorny, Morskoy, Rybachi and Kulali, showed the most polluted area is Kulali Island. This island is the westernmost of the two Lini Islands and a large number of abundant fishing nets wash ashore here from the sea. Some nets are found in the sea near the island. They were collected directly from the water by boat. Other nets were either washed ashore by the sea or left by the fishermen themselves on land. These nets were dragged and loaded onto the ship. The fact that these nets were lost by fishermen and abundant is evidenced by their heavily silted state, since they had not been checked and cleaned for a long time, and most of them were entangled and even contained heavy anchors inside the tangles. 
from the region of the southern tip of the island alone, an expanse of 11 kilometers long, about four tons of abundant fishing nets were collected. About 80% of them were large mesh, aimed at catching sturgeon fish. Nets with a mesh of 34 centimeters were clearly intended to catch the largest and the rarest representative of this family, the beluga. The coordinates of fishing net collection sites were recorded and the nets were all taken to a collection point for disposal. But there is another threat, hidden from view, growing and inevitable. Nets and garbage in the sea or on the shore under the influence of the sun, wind and water, gradually decompose, but do not disappear. The plastic from which they are made is present in the environment in various sizes, from nanoparticles and microns to a few millimeters. These are so-called micro and macro plastic particles. The sea gets a new kind of pollution, plastic. But if plastic in the form of bags, bottles and abundant nets can be collected and taken to landfill, recycled or disposed of, although this is also still a big problem. How can micro and macro plastics be detected and how can they be removed from the sea? Science is just taking its first steps in detecting and assessing the spread of plastic particles in the environment. For research, it is possible to collect them by filtering the water through a special fine mesh sieve or using the natural flow of water passing through a special trap. On land or near shore, soil collection is carried out both where decomposing plastic is evident and where it is invisible. Micro and macro plastics are ingested by inhabitants of the sea through their food. And it is important to track how plastic accumulates in animal organisms, moving along the food chain and reaching the Caspian Seal. At present, the main prey of seals are gobies, atherina, caspian wobbler and herringfish, including sprat and mullet. These fish have different diets. Some feed on detraders, others on benthos and plankton, and still others are predators. By catching the fish, it is possible to find out how much and what type of plastic particles are getting into them through their digestive systems. Dead Caspian seals are also sampled to determine their age and the amount of plastic particles in their bodies. Laboratory studies have shown that the water and the coast of the Caspian Sea in the area of the Tuleni Islands contain a variety of plastic particles, from microplastics measured in hundreds of millimeters to larger particles up to one and a half centimeters, as well as metal particles and particles of dried paint. Fragile decaying synthetic fibers from crumbling fishing nets are found in abundance. After biological analysis, the gastrointestinal tracts were removed from the fish, in most of which micro and macroplastics, synthetic fibers and glass particles were found. The highest content of this waste was found in the Caspian Sea herring, a predator that feeds on other fish species. This is undeniable proof of the transfer of plastic along the food chain from non-predatory to predatory fish.
therefore, to the Caspian seal as the highest species of the food chain. Given that plastic particles tend to accumulate other pollutants on their surface, the consequences of the ingestion by organisms are very dangerous for the health of the animal. It is obvious that the increased mortality of seals and the decrease of their life expectancy may be the consequences of plastic pollution of the sea. The factual materials obtained indicate that the Caspian Sea did not remain untouched by the alarming global processes and plastic pollution, which have entered its ecosystem. Abandoned fishing nets and marine debris have a profound impact on marine biodiversity. One of them leads to the direct death of animals. The other acts imperceptibly, gradually accumulating and poisoning their organisms. All the Caspian countries recognized the Caspian seal as endangered and included it in the red data books. But this is not enough. We need actions that could give a chance to survive for the sea inhabitant with huge, surprised eyes looking at you. Surprised and hopeful. With the hope of saving the Caspian Sea. <laughs>